वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी विल सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली फोटो वीव 360 ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ मेनी व्यूवर्स वी आर गोइंग टू मेक ए ट्यूटोरियल एंड वी विल सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली फोटो वीव 360 हियर दिस इज द इमेज दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जॉयस्टिक ए गेमिंग पैड सो लेट्स सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली फोटो वीव 360 एंड हाउ इट वर्क्स फर्स्ट वी विल एक्टिवेट दिस फोटो वीव 360 सो हियर वन ऑप्शन here also you can select or you can go to tool room uh, tools and select here add-ins once add-ins come see here photo view 360 just click ok or if you want to start you can click it here or we will see how to activate it start up here select ok now see here photo view 360 comes in that there are many options we will see one by one each and every steps you can even you can select it here and see 360 view and here the one important option will come if it will not come just right click on this ribbon and you can choose it from here render tools okay now here one first option is edit here you can edit the appearance of any product anything any material you can give it as per your requ requirement okay then edit scene uh, edit scene uh, we will not see now we will see later on and you can edit here decals also and the very important thing you can view the realistic photo view in window itself if you will select this it will automatically convert this window but just wait few seconds and it will automatically see this going to convert and our main window become the realistic view see this is the realistic view or render view itself in your window you can see the re render view now just uncheck now this real is gone now here the next preview window if you select the preview window one small window will open and it will show you the real render view see you can just put it here now if you can do any modification or anything any position change it will automatically change inside here see let's change the position or anything if you change the color or everything it will automatically change inside the photo view window or preview window see here there are two options if you select pause pause so it will stop and even if you change it will not move it will same as it is see if you will reset then it will take this position whatever position in your product will take see now okay now this is the window view and here are many options and in options you can uh, choose the dynamic help and you can just click the dynamic help and you can adjust it there here you can select the image size whatever size you want output and also the same thing you can adjust and reduce and down here the format of your image i prefer jpg but there are many uh, formats as per your requi requirement you can do it and here the default path where you want to store your images now here you can choose the quality of render quality even good better best or maximum maximum of course it will take much time and much uh, space so i prefer best this is the quality and here this is the gamma ray it, it controls the color of your window if you increase it will increase as per it will increase your window color this is the bloom point if you select contour option here are two options two type of render one photo realistic render and one uh, render and one frame line uh, line render so whatever you want to choose you can okay now the our 
this is the schedule render here you can schedule uh, set your time for rendering okay now the the main and important things for rendering is now just adjust your image and click final render now the small window preview window pop up and your product going for final render see it is one by one it will go make sure your computer should be fast for render you need more number of cores in your processor if your processor less number of cores it will take time so make sure your computer will be more if four or more than four cores it will be best for more uh, cores it will take less time but if core is less your processor core is less definitely it will take much time my processor is four core i7 so it will also taking see it not much time but okay now in drop down menu you can see these are the my previous render files i rendered it b before it will show you and this red uh, button pop up you can see small pop up it is showing that this file is running other all are off and here all the process you can see render time and everything and image setting everything you can see it here what exactly going now our render almost finished now the this you can increase or decrease is up to you now save this image now here you can save our image in desktop or anywhere and these are the formats for your image but i prefer jpg controller save i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and please like and share our videos thanks for watching